cook, she got the recipe She got what you need That girl can cook, that black girl magic I gotta have it Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my version of shrimp creole Y'all this is a one pot meal. It's quick. It's easy and you know, it's gonna be delicious. All right So let's go ahead and get started All right, so we're gonna start off with two tablespoons of olive oil and we're working over medium high heat Okay, you want to make sure you get that oil nice and heated and we're gonna add in about a pound and a half of raw Shrimp. This is large shrimp and honey. It has been deveined, peeled, and the tails are off, except for four of them, because those are gonna be my little shrimp that I decorate. Okay. But anyway, um, we're gonna add in a teaspoon of Creole seasoning to this, and we're also gonna add in a half teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. Now you can add whatever seasonings you like. If you don't have any Creole seasoning, honey, just make you some. A little bit of cayenne, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and salt. All right. So if you want to give that a quick toast. Just make sure all of these get cooked on both sides. You don't want to overcook this though, so just let them stay in there for about a minute or so, and then take them off of the heat and set them to the side. And you want to leave all that good juice down there because we're going to use that to saute our onions and our garlic and everything else, all right? So look, add in one small onion. This onion is just roughly chopped, no big, you know, big nothing to it. Just chop up your nice onion and give that a good mix. And then we're going to add in some bell pepper to this. You want to add in green bell pepper. You could do red bell pepper or yellow bell pepper if you want. I'm doing green because I need the aesthetic. <laughs> All right. So roughly chop, add that on in there. And next we're going to add in some garlic, you guys. One teaspoon of chopped garlic. Yes, you got to have that garlic in there. It's going to give a really good flavor. All right. So once you get that all mixed together, we're gonna add in a, a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. This is a 14 and a half ounce can. And these are fire roasted. I recommend the fire roasted ones over just regular diced tomatoes. It's gonna give so much flavor. And then we're gonna add in a half teaspoon of dried thyme and one to two bay leaves. Y'all, all of these ingredients are not optional. Please add them in, because this is gonna give all the flavor that you need. Okay, so now we're gonna add in two third cups of chicken broth, okay? You can use water as well if you don't have chicken broth. And to that, we're gonna add in one tablespoon of our good old W sauce and a half teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of your favorite hot sauce. Now, if you don't like the spiciness, you can leave out any spicy things that I'm adding, but I'm also gonna add in red chili pepper flakes. If you don't want that, take it out, okay? So to that, we want to add in a teaspoon of chili powder, and we want to allow this to simmer over low heat for about five to seven minutes. Look at that, y'all. Just let it simmer, okay? You don't want to reduce it too much, but once you let that simmer down, you want to add your shrimp back into this sauce, okay? You want to get it nice and coated over all of these beautiful shrimp. Just combine it. Get all that sauce on it, because y'all, we about to serve this thing up, and it is going to be delicious. Do y'all hear me? Absolutely delicious. So let's go ahead and plate it up. And there you have it guys, our beautiful, delicious shrimp Creole. You guys, this sauce is packed with so much flavor, baby. You might just want to slap your mama. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> but anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I hope you found it very easy to follow. And let me know down in the comments what you think if you decide to make it, alright? So I want to thank you guys for watching as always. And I'll see y'all next time in the next video.